Hello, this is Mikoy Valencia from Flowbox. Welcome to User Guide Video Tutorial. Ok, let's jump into our project. This is our work area. Let's focus on the first view. This is our viewer. Here you can preview our image. On the left panel you will see the magnifier icon. You can turn it on. It will show you a close-up of the area you are focusing with your mouse. The magnifier is linked with your zoom in the viewer. If you zoom in the viewer, the magnifier will zoom as well. You can change the size of this magnifier if you like. The second option is for gizmos. You can show them up or hide them using this icon or pressing Q on a keyboard. To fit the image into viewer, press F on a keyboard. Now let's see more options. Here we have guides. By press and hold, you can select what type of guides you want to use. For example, title safe. The next is a masking. Press and hold, use the aspect you are interested in. For example, 4x3. Now press and hold and use the type of mask you want to apply. This is half transparency mask. As you see now, you can preview your image in different aspects. Ok, the next icon here is a measurement tool. Enable that, you will see the small panel. Left bottom corner of this panel is the beginning of our measurements. Let's try to measure the length of this shoulder. And this is the length in pixels of the shoulder and also the angle. On the top panel of the viewer, we have more options. Let's see. Here you can choose how you preview your image. If it's RGBA data or red channel only, as you see right now, green or blue or alpha channel. On the top panel, you can change your gain and gamma settings. You can change the exposure value by dragging the slider or using the f-stop arrows. What's important, you are not affecting your final output. You are affecting only the image in the viewer. On the right side, we have a lookup tables. Here you can change the color space applied to the viewer when you see your image. You can change it to Rex of Online, Linear or Redlock. And we have Magnifier. If you click once, you reset the scale to the 100%. If you press and hold, you can change the fit, fill or select manual magnifier. The last number represents the number of the viewer and also color of the viewer. This is important because we have color coding for viewers. This is number one. If you want to change the viewer number two, I can switch here. Currently, we support four viewers. Let's go back to number one. And this is all about the viewer. Thanks for watching.